and on Friday you'll be able to wrap up the work week by getting caught up on all your video game news over at Almost Gaming at the Almost Gaming YouTube channel. Almost Gaming isn't going to see a lot of change. It's probably just going to be tweaked a little bit. Um, there are two main things I have in mind, and one is a lot less drastic than the other, so I'll start with it. Um, when I started doing Almost Gaming again, I dropped Almost Gaming for a long time. It was the video series that I picked back up last. Um, <clears throat> and to kind of reflect that, and that this was a, the start of a new era in Almost Gaming, I renamed the show Almost Gaming 2.0. But I've come to realize the only area that that pops up is in the logo. I don't even call it Almost Gaming 2.0 anymore. I think I called it that for like two editions and then I just started calling it Almost Gaming again. So I'm thinking I'm going to drop 2.0 from the title and just go back to calling it Almost Gaming. You can kind of think of it as another example of uh, Tomb Raider and Hitman. You know, a new edition in the series is coming out and it's got the same name as the first one. So, it's a brand new Almost Gaming called Almost Gaming. The other tweak that I'm considering doing is going to be in my presentation style. Um, of my three videos, I think I've, I've made no real secret of the fact that Almost Gaming is kind of the most, hey, look at me, I want to be a video game journalist. Is anybody seeing me over here being a video game journalist and talking in a very video game journalist professional type of a presentation style? The thing is, I've been looking at a lot of the video game channels that are popular on YouTube. Uh, one that comes to mind right now is Pro Jared who does like the one minute reviews and he did a big coverage of E3 talking about every single press conference and he has a lot of subscribers and gets a lot of views and he doesn't use a professional style at all and that's not to knock him I'm not saying that he's unprofessional I'm just saying that that's not how he conducts his channel he just talks to people um, you know and and this is what he feels this is what he thought was good this is what he thought was bad um, and there's something comfortable about that kind of presentation style that makes you want to watch the videos, whereas the way I've been doing it might come across as a little too stolid, too, pro too professional, almost. You know, video game journalism is a profession, but it doesn't have to be all suits and ties and CNN and stuff, you know. Gamers are a different kind of people. So I'm thinking about, and I'm very much likely going to uh, change the presentation style of Almost Gaming to something more like this, something more informal. I mean, I'm still going to, you know, stand by the dresser and, and put screenshots on the TV and everything. But I think I'm just going to talk more about like, hey, this is a thing that happened with Nintendo. And, you know, that's, this is, you know, the information and this is what I think of it in, in uh, just more conversational type of a style. I think that's going to help the show feel a lot more comfortable, feel a lot more relatable, and I think that'll be a good change.